snipers. Especially Still. when the rest of the infantry all AT. I guess a couple of vetted snipers, two or three, maybe three or four uh, assault grins would have been great to deal with this, the snipers, because that's just too many for them, the snipers, to take. But if you see your, a four-man squad go to one in less than a second, that's pretty demoralizing in my view. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to pull back or you're going to spend a whole lot more to build a new one than to reinforce, though it's not a ton more to build a new squad than it is to reinforce because they're expensive for pins you're going to do. Yeah, like, what is it, like, 48, 45 manpower per it's guy? 45, I think. Yeah. Yep. It's really, like, uh, Box summed it up at first. The early game was big on, you know, those snipers being still alive after since early game and there was no recon units from the Germans in early game to deal with those snipers early on which really would have helped. Yeah. A couple of bikes would have been more than enough with some infant, with some Volks uh, support. Or even a couple of scout cars. Just a couple of scout cars would have been enough to deal with those snipers. So, to sum up what you could have done against Allied Spam it's not OP, it's that you didn't utilize the right units, and they just kept utilizing the right units that worked for them. What you needed... To kill we yeah, yeah, what you needed was an uh, more anti-infantry, because all you needed was one guy worrying about tanks, and that would have been enough to deal with the armor company. What, you, what they needed was someone to bring in the artillery, bring in the mortar half-tracks. I mean, Little Richie, I'm looking at you, I know we've been beating on you this whole time, but seriously, man. Get some mortar half tracks out there, and they will do a lot of do a lot for you. It's the only artillery you've got, and you may as well use it. I'd say probably would have had should have had Armageddon focus on his tanking. I mean, tank hunters, you know, even with that choice, you he probably could have done other things with tank hunters. He could have had more infantry around tank hunters than actually building tanks. You know, he could have had. A AT infantry like what Sakala was building and he also could have planted teller mines which certainly would have wrecked uh, Katzit's uh, tanks up pretty good if they run mm -hmm. over him. Yeah, one of the neat thing about teller mines is that AT, uh, AT guns can set them off too. So <laughs> that would have been one or two less, less AT guns and if they're surrounded by infantry, say goodbye to the infantry. And. I did notice the Americans had mine detection squads, at least one. And I mean, with how many mines they were laying, they probably figured they'd find some of the enemies, but they really didn't. Yeah, Grunheim was the only one mines. that was actually doing it. Grunheim was the only one. Yeah. He was the only one of the three that was doing it, but going tank hunters, you know, Little Richie didn't have much of an option other than for vehicle based oh, yeah. mines. And, uh, so that leaves. Um, but he had so much manpower. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm getting with. Uh, yeah. I guess it wouldn't hurt to set a couple of teller mines, but against an infantry base, it wouldn't have done much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of the armor was on the right, and he had all his armor on the left fighting infantry. It was just flip flopped bad. Oh, yeah, I have to say that's true. Well, yeah, I mean, if if Little Richie probably went after the American armor, it would have been a different uh, different game. But unfortunately, he was fighting infantry. I mean, he spawned on the left, but if he'd have just had his armor go over there and someone who was more infantry, well, they really didn't have any. Ex they had one guy locking down the right. That would have kind of dedicated two guys to the right side. So I don't know. if they could have just gotten some more anti-infantry on the left. That's where a lot of infantry went, actually went on. <laughs> well, I think that's all we can say about their, uh, about what they could have done. Uh, Box, do you have anything to add, or we pretty much summed up everything? Nah, I think we summed it up all together. It was a fun game to watch, but at times incredibly aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. It can be like that with any <laughs> game, though, too. Yes any sort of game where teamwork is required so my words of advice work on diversifying your force someone needs to go support someone needs to be on the tanks somebody needs to be on the infantry 
Obviously, the allies came on top, not because of OP units, but because they utilized them effectively together as a team. Combined arms. Yep. Yep. Well, that's another vidcast here, folks. We hope you enjoyed this affair and hope you enjoyed the new look of my units. I think they look cool. So, hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you haven't installed it yet, nub. You know, I spent 30 some. minutes of my life. I spent 30 minutes I'll of my do life. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better. You better. All right, we're out of here, folks. Uh, for all of us here at OSC, thanks for your time and thanks for watching. We're out. Goodbye. Sweet shout, guys.